So we're at the uh, Pagoda Hive here, so-called, and uh, this is a couple of weeks after I last took a shot of this, and the, what had happened was that the badgers appeared to have ripped out the mesh floor. But the bees themselves don't seem to have been too bothered by that because they're now clustering right through the floor. They've built comb, and it looks like they're still building comb, right below floor level here. So I imagine that the badger may have come along here since, taking the mesh out, and got a nasty shock because he might have stuck his nose under there and found a whole load of bees waiting to meet him. And give him a little bit of a welcome. Don't know how much you can see that. I'm just going to put the camera directly underneath now. And I suspect the bees are going to be a little bit defensive because they've probably got used to Mr. Badger coming and having a look at them every now and again. That's no bad thing. So, yet again, we have um, a bottomless hive. Uh, and funnily enough, this is exactly the site that my original bottomless hive was uh, two years ago. And that hive went for three seasons without any protection at floor level from the elements or from, from badgers come to that. It was a badger that eventually finished them off. But at the moment, this particular colony look like they can look after themselves. In fact, so well that I'm just going to back off slightly and let them uh, let them do their thing because they're starting to come around and get a bit over curious about me. But there's certainly plenty of bees in there. They certainly look like they're look like they're strong. So, I won't disturb them any further. There aren't any. Good. There's a drone. That's a drone. It's good to practice your bee handling skills on drones, of course, because they can't mm. sting. They're usually quite happy to crawl around on your hand. So, what can we say? So far, the pagoda hive seems to be working, even without a floor. So what's their plan? Good question. I don't know. Um, they, they, that means the fact that they're that low means that they've built comb from the. Remember, we put frames in there that didn't have bottom um, bars on, and the frames are actually hanging from. Uh, let me see. Um, actually hanging from this level aren't they so that the frames themselves extend down to here which means that there's an empty um, what can we call it <laughs> it's not exactly a box but there's an empty um, well, all right we'll call it a box because I can't think of another word at the moment there's an empty box below them mm. and then there's another empty box below that it was full of or mostly full of sawdust and wood shavings mm. but the Badgers put pay to that by ripping the floor, the the wire mesh off the bottom, and taking all the shavings out with it. So there's now two boxes below the bottom of the frames, such as they were, which means that they've actually built comb, um, one, two, three, four, sixteen inches plus deep, and they're now two inches out of the bottom. So they've got combs that are eighteen up to eighteen inches deep. In there. The 
Bees do like to build deep comb if they can. And this has one, been one of the problems with the, the uh, Vare hive, which is that it seems that they are quite reluctant to build uh, down onto a set of top bars, but they're quite happy to extend comb vertically for as pretty much as long as they've got space for it. But stopping them every eight inches or so with top bars does seem to be a bit of a problem for them. At least I found it so. Certainly not everybody has. But building continuous comb 18 inches deep is certainly no problem for them at all. And they'll go a lot deeper than that if they're allowed to. Of course the way this hive is, is designed and, and set up, it would be possible to jack this whole thing up and put another box below this one, you know. But uh, that would be quite tricky to do, it has to be said. There's going to be quite a weight there now. But I suspect that if you did that, they would just build another, for, add another four inches to the depth of their cone. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to put the camera directly underneath them again mm -hmm. to see what's going on further up. I must say they're not being over defensive. I mean, they're, they're, they're quite calmly gathered on their, on their comb. They're not coming out and doing battle with us. He's flying in and out of the entrance quite calmly. Oh, one's just... There's one uh, just proving me wrong there by stinging me on the arm. Slide that off so he doesn't disembowel myself. So, what can we say about this then? We can ask ourselves the question, what's going on? Um, we can see what's going on. Beyond that, when we start to try and interpret it, is when we maybe start running into trouble. They do seem to be reasonably happy though, I have to say. Inside? Yeah. Do you want to hold that and Do you want to do you want to put a top on? I might do. Yeah, I'll just have a quick peek first and see what sort of mood they're in. I don't think they're overly bothered by us being. This is a walnut tree. going on in that top box. There's a few bees wandering about but no real major activity. I'll just gently see if I can make it clean up. It's pretty empty. It's very empty. It could be quite low on stores. That's been quite a problem this summer with dry spells. Although it's a very early spring, very warm spring, there's been a lot of dry weather and the plants haven't been yielding nectar as well as we might have hoped. So bees haven't been storing food quite as well as perhaps they might. Family. <laughs> no, we've got the same story here, there's not much in the way of the stars at all. It's an empty cone. So,
you can look down now and see that there's um, a fair bit of activity but those bees definitely look hungry to me I'm looking down on the tops of the combs I'm not seeing much in, at all in the way of stores mm. so it looks like they Gosh. could be suffering a bit from the from the general drought that we've been having although it's got a little bit showery in the last few days We may even need to consider some feeding. Feeding in July. Yeah, who mm. thought, eh? 